When working with arrays in JavaScript, there are times where you may want to combine multiple arrays together. Maybe these arrays have related data and you want to combine it to a single array. How do you do this in JavaScript? There are different ways in which you can do this. In this video, I'll be showing you three ways from my top favorite to my least favorite way of merging arrays in JavaScript. I'll be using these array examples here and the three approaches for merging arrays in JavaScript. So let's start from the first one, the spread operator. The spread operator allows you to spread an iterable collection, which can be an object or an array, into another collection. So by using this operator on arrays, you can merge the contents of multiple arrays together. So here, let's say I create a variable called merged. And in this merged here, I can use the spread operator to spread array one and I can spread array two. I'll come here now and I console log merged. You see that the contents of this array one, which is one, two, three, and the contents of this array two, which is four, five, six, will be spread into this array. So if I come here and I run this file, you can see the merged array is now one, two, three, four, five, six, which are the contents of array one and array two merged together. You can spread as many arrays as you want, and the order in which you spread spread them determines the order that would be in the merged array. So let's say I come to the beginning here and I spread array three. So I spread array three and let me say I spread array two here and I spread array one. If I come here and I log merged to the console, you can see this is one single array. And then we have seven, eight, nine, which is coming from array three that we spread. We have four, five, six, which is coming from array two that we spread. And we have one, two, three, which is coming from array one that we spread here. I have another video where I explain the spread operator in more detail. I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. The second way you can merge arrays in JavaScript is using the concat method of arrays. The concat method of arrays is used to combine the contents of an array with new values to form a new array. And these new values can be numbers, strings, booleans, objects, or even arrays. So let's see an example using the concat method to merge arrays. So I'm going to apply the concat method on array one. So I'm going to have array one dot concat. And then here, like I said, this can accept a number of values. So you can pass pass 40, you can pass an object, you can pass a string, you can pass any value that you want to concat with the contents of array one. But for this example, I'm going to use array two. And this concat method does not modify the array it is used on. So in this case, it doesn't modify array one. Instead, it returns a new array with the contents of array one and the contents of the array that you pass as argument. So I can assign this again to the merged variable like this. If I come here and I console log merged, and I come here and I run this file, you can see we have again one, two, three, which is coming from array one that we apply the concat method on. And then we have four, five, six, which is coming from array two that will pass as an argument to the concat method. And this is four, five, six here. I can also do this for three arrays. So for this merged, I can say array two dot concat. Then I pass array three. And remember the order in which you pass the argument will determine the final array. And then I can pass array one like this. If I come here and I log this, you can see four, five, six coming from array two, which we apply the concat method on, and seven, eight, nine, which is coming from array three, seven, eight, nine, and then we have one, two, three, which is coming from array one, like this. I also have a different video on the array.concat method. If you want to learn more about it, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. And the last but not the least way in which you can combine arrays in JavaScript is using the array push method. The push method of arrays allows you to push, which is add new values to the end end of another array. But unlike the concat method, the push method modifies the array that it is used on. I'm going to use the same example here to explain. So I can say array1.push and this push can accept a number of arguments. It can also be a string. Let's say string like this. It can be a number 45. It can be a boolean. But let's say I pass a value of um, 10, for example. Now, because the push method affects the array that it is used on, I come here and I console log array1. Come here and I run this file you can see we have one, two, three, and 10, which is the number that we push here. Now, unlike the concat method, I cannot say array1.push array2, because if I do this, watch what happens. You see array2 becomes nested into array1. So if you want to push the content itself and not the whole array, then you can use different approaches. I'm going to use a for loop here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say for, and then I declare my variable. I'll call this i, assign it to zero. The condition is that 
that i should be less than array 2 dot length and then i increment it by just adding one to it and then here i can come and say array 1 dot push array 2 and then my variable i which is going to serve as the index so in the first loop i push 4 in the second loop i push 5 in the third loop i push 6. if i come here now and i run this file you can now see that array 1 which has been modified because we use the push method now has 1 2 3 which was in array 1 before and then we have 4 from the first loop 5 from the second loop and 6 from the last loop added to the array now if i also want to merge array 3 that means i have to create another for loop for array 3 here but instead of doing that i can clean this for loop and i can do array 1 dot push and since i want to spread the contents of array 2 to be pushed into array 1 then i can use the spread operator again that's why the spread operator is my top favorite so i can spread array 2 like this and i can also spread array 3 like this and now all of this would be replaced with 4 5 6 7 8 9 which is coming from array 2 and array 3 so let me go back to my spread if i come here now and i run this file you can see we have 1 2 3 from array 1 4 5 6 from array 2 and 7 8 9 from array 3 there are still other ways you can merge arrays in this video i've showed you just three and if you enjoyed it please give it a like subscribe turn on notifications for more things i will be simplifying in javascript